Go, where is it going with this? My ADHD and the alcohol just. Oh, <laughs> let's go on. Yo, what's going on, guys? We've got two modders in the house. I've talked about this so many times, and I got them for you. Lindy Lou on Instagram and Richie, right? I can't remember the Instagram handle. What is it? Yeah, it's uh, it's RB6256. Yeah. It's kind of cool. hard to remember, but... <laughs> 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 yeah. How did you guys get into modding? You know, before I ask that, like, how did you guys get into, you know, the sort of EDC gear hobby? Were both of you into it already? Like, when you met, like, how'd, how'd that go? Well, can I I'll start? Okay, yeah, so... <laughs> He was into knives before I was. We've been together for probably about a year and a half, two years. And he was into knives. And I was honestly, like, not really for knives at first. I used to, he'd have knife videos on all the time. And I was just, like, I hated it, to be honest, <laughs> yeah. at first. And then eventually it grew on me. And, like, part of our relationship is, like, a little bit competitive, kind of healthy. You know, it's healthy, but, like, we're a little competitive. So he was into knives. And I was like, well, I want to be into knives, too, you know? And then um, I got this job stocking and opening boxes and stuff like that. And then um, he was like, well, I don't want you carrying a box cutter to work. So, you know, <laughs> Good man. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he yeah. gave me a knife and then I've been a knife person ever since pretty much. How did you get into that? Yeah. How'd you get into it, dude? So, yeah. So I guess it all started with a Kershaw leak. Uh, yeah. Found a leak at my work, started carrying that. Um, you then, found one. What's that? You found one. Yeah, yeah, I found one. Because oh, I, I, work, I, work, yeah, I worked at a hotel at the time. So. Okay, cool. <laughs> but, um, yeah, started carrying that. Um, I don't know, just uh, that kind of set everything off. And then... Uh, yeah, yeah, it was just a Kershaw been, blur. And yeah. then after that, it was like... So, like, it was Kershaw, and then I started with, like, a Gonzo is what he got me at first, was Gonzo's. Yeah. And then after that, it was two sons. It was two sons. Yeah, it was Kershaw sons. and then straight to two sons. So I love like, two okay. son people, man. When people yeah. are like, because I, I, like, sons. love what they do, you know? I, I tried to say this on another podcast. It's kind of like when you first got into knives and you didn't know, like, what to get. And you mm -hmm. would just look for this cool thing that you see on Amazon, like an M tech or whatever. It's like <laughs> Tucson still gives you those early feelings, but they're going to give you the highest quality materials oh possible for oh, like yeah. a fraction sure. of the price and a completely like off the wall design. Like, you yeah, know, yeah, what I, mean? yeah, I know. They and I, stuff. Yeah, I absolutely love that. Um, how did you guys get into modding? Um, so, I mean, it was a while after we had initially got into knives. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess just seeing seeing stuff on YouTube and Instagram, see people doing it on Reddit, and it's like, man, I want to be able to do that. You know, <laughs> after yeah. we saw that Anno for the first time, I saw on YouTube from Brian Wallace, anything knife related. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, cool dude. Oh, man, he's awesome. And so, like, I saw his work, like, a lot, I mean, I was like, oh, my God, I want to know how to do that, like, right now, you know? And then we just kind of busted ass and figured it out and it took us it took us a while to get the hang of it but it's, it's pretty hard mainly just all the like just the prep work and everything for it but. yeah i can see the passion though like uh richie i saw like i love the cracked ice finish man that is yeah. some beautiful work dude like i i saw that and um well at first the re the way i discovered richie was uh i was already following lindy right yeah. And then I saw this is what this is what cool cool thing that couples are doing right now. And I gotta do this with like my fiance too. Is like <laughs> put like your uh, significant other's like Instagram handle and you put like a heart next to it. Yeah. And I'm like I'm, I'm engaged and like I don't I don't have it yet. But I was like oh shit is that what that means to like the younger people? You know what I mean? Yeah. So I clicked on it and I was like oh they're together and they both like uh, are, are modding knives. That's so sick. You know. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to get you guys on. I'm trying to get. I don't know if you guys tune into the podcast or not, but I'm always trying to put people on here um, to just expand their reach, you know, on, on whatever yeah. platform they're on. Uh, you guys are just Instagram, right? Um, Instagram and Reddit. Yeah, and Reddit. Okay. Oh, so you guys are big, like, into the forums and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's definitely. where we started, really. 
Yeah, I, would, I mean, I'd, I'd say that's where I get most of my customers from, from Reddit. And then she's more Instagram, I would say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to build up my Instagram, but it's going slow, but uh, steady, <laughs> <Yeah>. I guess. <laughs> but I, I mean, he's like all Reddit. I mean, kind yeah. of, I do too, but he's more of the forum person. And then yeah. like typical girl, I'm like Instagram, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what's crazy is like, I am one of the few like knife people like that are into YouTube that I'm on all of it, man. I'm on Twitter. Yeah. I'm on TikTok. I'm not doing the woe and shit, you know, but <laughs> I'm on TikTok. I'm on uh, uh, Instagram. I, I do a little bit of Facebook. I'm starting to get back into it. Like I didn't, here's what, here's why I'm not on Facebook that much. I was DJing and producing music for 10 years, like professionally. Yeah. I didn't have another job and yeah. uh, I didn't want to use wow. the same followers in the nightlife scene and bring them over. Like I wanted to start fresh. Yeah. And, um, that's why I don't do Facebook that much. But I've recently gotten into uh, Facebook groups, like Facebook knife groups, people that have mm-hmm. been suggesting to me. And um, uh, yeah, but I'm on all of it, you know? And, and I, that's the reason why I ask is, I think that any business today is much better off with all this free marketing that you get by being on social media. Like I don't use it. Yeah. I, I put my personal life in my videos a lot because that's kind of my the bread and butter of the channel is people like wondering what this kooky Asian guy in New York City is doing being a knife person. <laughs> you know, and, and I have, yeah. you know, they like seeing my girl and I uh, go out and we used to vlog around the city right before the review. And that was one of the things that people liked a lot. But um, I'm gonna give you a perfect example. My girl has been tackling Instagram really hard, right? She just started this business selling succulents, you know, like the plants. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude. Yeah. She made, she's only had her Etsy up for like a week and she's already made like over $500. Wow. Um, her, her Instagram is, I want to say like close to 500 right now. That's been up for three weeks. She posts, I, I was, I told her, I was like, yo, you got to post three times a day. You mm-hmm. got to post multiple stories a day. That's how Instagram works. Yeah. And uh, you grow your following that way. Now, the reason why I tell people to do social media is like, if you want to show a product, especially it's you got to be on all of it you know what i'm saying yeah Yeah. um i i watch a lot of these social media guru type people and um yeah you you guys should try it man you should try youtube you should try uh you guys ever thought you guys on tiktok or not i'm on tiktok but it's like mainly my cats (laughs) i do the same that's what i do on it (laughs) yeah okay cool So let's get into that story a little bit. So your cat jumped out the window. That's why you were late coming onto the Zoom, <laughs> yeah. right? So I have two cats. I have yeah. Loki, or we, sorry, excuse mm-hmm. me. So um, Loki and Charlie. And so Loki mm-hmm. is like an indoor-outdoor cat. And so we leave our window open, no screen. It was, or the screen was broken. Anyways, yeah. so he just goes in and out as he pleases. And um, <laughs> and then so Freya, we just got her maybe like a month ago or so. Yeah, and then... Um, she well, I have to leave it open for Loki, and then we we kind of watch it. We'll close it, you know, whatever. Make sure she doesn't get out. But sometimes when it gets hot, we'll open the window and we'll forget mm-hmm. the kitten, you know. So she just oh, whoop, yeah. out oh, the window, sorry. and she just We're talking about the cat. I, I I got up to the part where you keep the window open for Loki. Oh right? yeah, you know, mm-hmm. cat. You had to chase after Freya. Yeah. And I was gonna add that like I have two rag dolls. I don't know if you know yeah. that breed. Uh, oh, yeah, they're, they're the cats that they're super fluffy. They're about like, they can get anywhere from 13 to 15 pounds and oh, wow. they just like, you know, you can just pick them up whenever, like they don't oh. really care. Uh, and one of them is all white. His name is Robbie, uh, full mm-hmm. name, Robin Williams after the, you know, <laughs> yeah. Frank Sinatra is the other guy. He's kind of bitey, but he's like, he like warning bite you. Yeah. 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 But uh, yeah. Little- I, I, I was a big dog person, but uh, moving in with my girl, she had these yeah. two guys. I'm like, holy shit, man. They're such yeah. a, they're <laughs> like having miniature tigers that are friendly, like living with you. Exactly. That's what he exactly. said, too. So, like, I'm a big cat person, <laughs> and he's, like, a dog person. It was the same mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. And then, like, he, like, you know, started hanging out with my cats, and he was like, oh, they're yeah. like little lions. He's and like, the same I, exact I, thing. I, mean, I kind of just thought cats were assholes at first, but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy is like when they come to you like willingly it feels so good you're oh, like, oh, I, know. I, know. <laughs> I mean yeah because with dogs it's like mm-hmm. oh they'll come sit on your lap constantly yeah and then it's yeah like... yeah they always want to be with you you know that's yeah, yeah exactly with cats you it's like <laughs> they yeah, choose you 
Uh, you get yeah. a cat on your lap and it's like, oh, I can't stand up. It's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to move because the Dude. moment is so rare, man. Yeah, exactly. Um, let's go back to, to modding, right? How did you come up with that cracked ice finish, Richie? I mean, it, I, I, I've seen texturing done before, but there was something a bit unique about that one. How did you come up with that? Was it yeah, by accident? So, um, it, no, so actually Todd Big does that on his customs and that's what he calls it, the cracked ice finish. Basically, I was just trying to replicate. Same thing with the lightning anode. It's like people don't want to give out information, which I completely understand. But um, yeah, I'm just experimenting after I saw that on Todd Beggs. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Like Dude, it came out so good. Oh, it was beautiful. The first one he did was was like two tone. He had like two different colors, so when you like glittered it back and forth in the light, it would be like pink and then purple. It was oh, it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm st I'm still experimenting with it. Um, hopefully, I could get it get it more similar to Todd Biggs. Um, just like smaller marks on the scales, because the ones I did had longer marks on them, but. Um, yeah, I think I got a guy uh, that's going to send me one of his Michael Zeba customs to do it on that. So, so wow. That do you yeah. guys get a lot of work, uh, modding work? Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, honestly, what it comes down to is like how much work we put into like selling ourselves on Reddit, on Instagram. Yeah. So if like we slack off a little bit, you know, customer, we won't get as much customers. Yeah. Like I recently just went to my mom's after I finished my like the customers that I had, took a couple of days off and then like, but I've noticed the like more I post, the more obviously like the more yeah. the work we get in and just like, but yeah. Yeah, the thing with knife, uh, like social media, it's it grows yeah. a little differently. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I watch a lot of different shit. You know what yeah. I mean? I watch, a, I actually watch more non-knife stuff on YouTube than I do knife YouTube. Like I'll, yeah. I'll check out a homie's video and like give him some props and support, you know, cause like he's my friend. Yeah. But most of the time I'm watching like podcasts. That's how, that's how I got like, you know, more comfortable with talking to people. Yeah. Um, but all of these other niches on YouTube are massive. Like yeah. photography is huge. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and even talking with like Nick Shabazz, you know, um, yeah. crazy how I got him on the show. He said that there was never a viral moment for him. You know, like most yeah. of these big YouTubers, something happens, they gain 100,000 followers. Yeah. Nick, yeah. Nick, Overnight. Nick, yeah, Nick was like, nah, man, I just kept working. And yeah. that's how I got to where I am right now. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do the same shit. Yeah. I'm just gonna post on every single thing. And I've been getting, uh, you know, subs from each thing. Like I get subs from TikTok that are just like, they hit me up, they're like, oh man, I'm so glad there's a knife person on here. Because it's like <laughs> yeah, so rare. I was looking for knife people on TikTok, yeah. like that's before I posted really anything. I was like, can I post yeah. knives on here? You know, like there was like a couple people. I like looked up Spider Co because that's like the most basic, yeah. you know, method on there. I only mm -hmm. saw like two posts. There's like not very many. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I haven't found a big knife community on there yet. Anyways, uh, like some of my friends are on there, and there are a few like EDC people, but there aren't. Yeah. There isn't anybody like doing this. You know, like yo, this is what I'm carrying today. Like yeah. there aren't people duetting each other, but I think that's why there is room for that and the yeah. reason why i ask is like you guys would kill it on there because i'm on it a i'm on it like maybe an hour uh, a little bit more every day just to check it out and like see what the yeah. trends are and try to like replicate it with knife shit you know right, right, like i did i did this video um there's a, there was this trend where uh they would use this one song and it's always someone going into a situation and being surprised at who's there, right? right? Like, for example, a girl was like, oh, I competed in the Olympics. And then, you know, this is who was there. And it was like, uh, I don't know if you guys saw that viral video of that, that, uh, that black girl doing like some dancey gymnastic stuff that won gold medals. Anyway, so what I did was I green screen Blade Show. Right? Oh. And I was like pretending like to be in awe and then and it was like the people there was like Nick Shabazz, Advanced Knife Bro, and uh, I'm, oh, I'm all nervous awesome. and shit. So I just try to, you know, make it for knife people. Um, um, but you guys would kill it on there because uh, like, artistry, engineering, um, 
you know, people that make clay pots and stuff like that kind of craftsmanship kind yeah. of uh, uh, kind of stuff like works really well on TikTok. So I awesome. feel like making a 30 second video, yeah. you know, of you. Oh, hey, this is what I'm going to do on this. Um, I don't know. Artisan cutlery Centauri today. Yeah. I'm going to have to take it apart and do all that. Yeah. And you just post that shit and then you're good, yo. Oh, we should. Yeah, we should. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Maybe we should just make a joint account on yeah. TikTok. Yeah, just After quick, that. you know? Like, I mean, I'm not, look, like, with me, you're always you're always going to get uh, more social media is better, especially if you have a yeah. business. You no, know? Yeah, no, it's smart. I mean, that's how so, it's been. I mean, that's how yeah. we've gotten, you know, customer base with social media, so. Do you think, you that, do you think like, TikTok is weird? Like, a lot of night people well, like, oh, thought, I don't. I, when I first heard of it, like, personally, yeah. I thought it was, like, a millennial thing. And it was just, like, stupid Me videos too. that, like, and I just never, I was like, oh, that's not really my thing, you know? But then mm -hmm. I just recently checked it out. And then I was like, oh, it's like Instagram, but we'll just yeah. see you. It's, like, exactly yeah. the same thing, you know? Yeah, I mean, I didn't even, like, realize, I, I didn't even know exactly what it was. So, like, yesterday? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Literally yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I see. I just see craftsmen on there like making crazy shit. Like, and that's all they do. Yeah. They're not doing the dances. They're not doing anything. Maybe they'll use a song that's popular on the app, and then yeah. it'll be a guy like working on a car. You know what I mean? Like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So it's really yeah. cool for what you guys are doing. I think that would yeah. be a good uh, way in there. Uh, what What is so you do you you guys both work? Like, how does it? Uh, you guys both work and you do the modding on the side then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, right now, we're both going to school full-time. He's oh, also shit. working. Oh, shit. Whoa. All but, right. Like, I'm, just, I'm just going to school full-time right now. And then um, and then modding, yeah, on the side. And we both, like, we sometimes start knives we'll work on together, but also we each have our own customer base. Mm -hmm. So we bring in knives that way, and then, like, he gets a knife, I get a knife. We started out where we would, like, each do half, but it just now that we've gotten to where we are, it makes a lot more sense yeah. that we just, and we can reach more customers that way versus, like, being joint, like, a joint account or something. Yeah, I mean, we're still, like, trying to figure it out. It's, like, because we ultimately, we wanted to do it together. Yeah. So we weren't sure, like, oh, should we have a joint Instagram account? Or should we yeah. should we just do half the knife each and then cut it in half? But, yeah. I mean, it's been working pretty good just taking on our own customers. But at the same time, it gets kind of confusing because, People will like hit me up and then hit her up and they're both asking for like a quote <laughs> and then it's like they'll decide to go with me and not her. And I don't yeah. her. Like, what? You, know? <laughs> you know what though? I think that there is something to charging differently if you guys were to work on something and collab on it together as opposed to separate. You oh, know what I'm saying? Because there is something to that. I mean, like for example, if like, you know, like I have, I don't, I don't know if I have it. Oh, I have it right here. Like, like this steel wheel kobold, right? I'm going to yeah. be, you know, it's not really that of an expensive knife, but if I do a giveaway for this cat for all over this right now, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, like it's not an expensive knife, but I could be like, yo, you know, I had it and Slicey Dicey gave this to me. And then to the person, the audience who's yeah. going to receive it is going to be worth more to them, you know? Same thing oh, with you yeah. guys. Yeah. You guys have your own fans, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've, cause we've definitely had people like request like, Oh, that I do half and then she does half. Mm -hmm. so, That's I mean, dope. Yeah. What do you like, guys charge normally? Like, I mean, well, let's say like I wanted to get this, uh, artisan cutlery Centauri done. Um, do you, do, let me ask you this. Do you request for the knife to come in disassembled? No, no. All the way off is that it's disassemblable. So like, as long oh, okay, as it's okay. able to be disassembled, I mean, yeah. and it's a lot nicer being able to reassemble it and then have yeah. it more of a like portfolio or like to show. Yeah. You know, right, right. Obviously, it just comes down to whatever, they're, yeah, whatever with. they're comfortable yeah. with. Yeah. Uh, but usually they just send us the whole knife. Uh, the reason, obviously, cool. that we ask that it's able to be disassembled is because we've had some bad experience in getting knives and then we can't take them apart because they're mm -hmm. locked tight it's or stripped, whatever right. reason yeah or they're stripped yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and it's just like i you know and it sucks for them to have to ship it and spend money to send it to us and then you know yeah. not to work on it or but, yeah so in terms of pricing um depending on the complexity of the knife it could range anywhere from 80 to 100 dollars um, yeah or more yeah. if it's like really crazy if they're yeah. asking for the crazy finishes and all that yeah. Oh, yeah, it's just, I mean, if the piece is really complex, like and there's, yeah, like the, what is it, like the Wii uh, Arachnus or? Arachnus, that's the uh, yeah. the one from Isham, right? 
Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. I think yeah it's, it's like wild, it's yo. That's yeah. like yeah. Megatron yeah. knife or some shit. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And yeah. just all the different pieces. I mean, mm-hmm. it's really, yeah, like the more pieces there are, I just the more labor that goes into it, you know, the polishing yeah. specifically, you know, that's, that's a lot. Yeah, I saw your video uh, today on your stories yeah. and I was like, yo, that's chromed out, son. <laughs> you know, just like sell that to a cholo and a lowrider, chromed yeah. out. <laughs> it's all good, Holmes. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, man, I mean, that looks so sick. And then you, and then you yeah. put the the finish on it. But mm-hmm. I, it's crazy because I I tried to get into modding before. Like I've anodized yeah. some stuff. Um, I was watching this guy on YouTube, Sharp Knife Nuts. You guys, yeah. I'm assuming you guys have the uh, what is that called? The um, the, the thing that gives you the yeah, the power supply. I'm yeah. assuming you guys yeah. have your own. So oh, I yeah. found this guy, Sharp Knife Nuts on youtube mm-hmm. he does all ana work from like nine volts but he's ill yo he's no, yeah, no. Ill. Yeah. yo actually, yeah, I, he's my boy he, he makes yeah. rings now uh Apo- um That's i think cool. it's apollo's rings and he's yeah. doing pretty well he has a ring business he sent me some rings before but oh, i found oh. him through vi- youtube and yeah. i said like you know doing anna with nine volts and shit and like sometimes it came out really good and then sometimes i'm like oh this is so frustrating like <laughs> I, I think, think i, I have still like, have like 30 or 49 volts in yeah. my, in my uh, in closet here. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, yeah. yeah it was yeah. so hard yeah like i didn't oh. know that you had to polish it and shit like i didn't know oh, yeah. that like i yeah. would just do the, you know like certain things, it depends what, what you want to do. If you just want to do a solid color, like bead glass, you can do it over a stone yeah. glass, bead glass. It yeah. depends on the finish. But like mm-hmm. for what we do, it's it's more of a personal preference, I guess, mm-hmm. more so about the polishing. The colors are a lot more vibrant and it's a lot more durable. The more polished yeah, yeah, yeah. The colors will stay. I mean, you could beat it up. I mean, it looks great. I mean, it's. I mean, when we would try to remove our anno, it's a lot harder to remove than just a standard like electrolytic yeah, yeah uh, without anode. a doubt because yeah. it's polished i mean right? i haven't seen honestly out of all the knives i've anode for whatever customer or one of mine like i haven't seen them fade at all when they're lightning yeah, they never ask because we always tell them if it fades or if anything happens you can you know we'll give you a heavily discounted price and we'll redo it for you you That's know if you sick, want if it ever fades, we've never had anybody yeah. contact us to redo it you guys ever uh check out any of jd cutlery's work Jeff Perkins. No, he, he I don't was, think so. uh, the first ZT I ever bought, the 0456, was done by him. Uh, let me see if I have it. So this is like the first video I actually made on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, this is the knife right here. Oh, that's cool. Um, what's dope is like he gives you the matching lanyard with it. Oh, and that was my first cool. introduction to Anna work is this guy yeah. was just anodizing stuff all the time. And he would sell yeah. you the knife too. That oh, was like his thing. Cool. So I, I think he probably has some deal, some wholesale deal with, um, he's, he, he, he anodizes like shit. That's way out of my price range now though. A lot of like Riyadh's and stuff. And oh like, yeah. Not that yeah. kind of Asian. Yeah. I don't got the yeah, no, no. No duck money. Not that but, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. It's like, I just don't have it, you know, but I remember I bought this mm-hmm. knife from him. This is the first expensive knife that I bought. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was two seventy five with the anno on oh, the custom good. lanyard, and um, this was the knife that I was like, "All right, I'm gonna be in this hobby for a bit." Yeah, you know what I'm after saying? spending that it's much like, money, yeah, like, yeah. it's like you guys <laughs> ever had uh, handled one of these? Oh yeah, 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 it's, sure. yeah. It was gorgeous. I, that was the first knife that like got me into like liking ZT. Yeah, yeah. it's probably one of the few models, truthfully, mm-hmm. that I like. Yeah, There's I mean, very few. Yeah, I mean, after getting spoiled by two cents, like right off the bat, and yeah. then going to ZTs, it's like, what steel detent ball? Yeah. Like steel <laughs> bearings? And yeah. just like the like, no, was just different. Uh, like bearing tracks. Yeah, it's like, what? we were spoiled for <laughs> two cents, truthfully. Yeah. That's how- really got into it and then after and Z had it all right before back and you know, we started getting into ZTs and we just were like maybe just the models that we handled truthfully we just didn't really care for yeah. yeah do you guys notice a difference in anodizing let's say a Tucson for example like a mm-hmm. titanium scale from Tucson yeah. versus like an American made like oh, yeah. scale well it's what not is so much American di- made versus Chinese made it could be any like Chinese or like anything it's just mm-hmm. the surface finish of the titanium varies so like certain companies like kaiser they're like surface finish for their titanium is beautiful because mm-hmm. it's super easy to sand and everything like that 
Whereas like certain models, like what was that one that was super expensive? Oh yeah, street. so the yeah the Tuberkov Striz. Uh, oh the Striz, yeah yeah I know yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know I expected it. You know four hundred yeah, dollars. Yeah. For the titanium to be like really nice under it, but I got under the initial surface layer and it was like there was giant gouges in the titanium. Oh, like, you see it yeah, you couldn't see it because it had a like a bead blast over it, or whatever. Yeah. But then once you got on under that, it was like just gouges all through it. You'd be surprised how many knives we've done where like you first get it and it looks perfect, it's beautiful. Yeah. The bead blast just hides so much, and you remove that bead blast and you just see all this pitting oh, and shit, it's, you know stuff like that. That Chernobyl titanium. No, I'm playing. <laughs> 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 you know, I, I like that knife, though. I had a I had a buddy of mine, like a viewer. This is like, here's the thing, like, when it comes to this channel, like, I still find it like so wild that people trust me enough to send me yeah. all this expensive shit to check out. Because like, I don't really know a lot about knives. But yeah. the bread and butter of the channel has become me doing this podcast and talking yeah. to night people, which I love. That's like, if I could podcast only, that's what I would do. Yeah, but it's sure. also become like, I unbox something and use three cameras and people see me react to this funny thing. Oh, and yeah, like, I've seen one of those. and it's, I feel like the people that are close to me on the channel, like they're like sending stuff in and then they'll say like, Oh, it's my turn on Saturday. He's going to get my package. Set. <laughs> and I feel That's like, awesome. you know, it's awesome. Like I, I love the knife community for that, man. Coming from yeah. the nightlife scene to this community, it's like the people are way, way cooler. Way different, way, way cooler. You know what's cool is like something I've noticed about the knife community is that everybody wants to share this experience. You yeah. know, like when people send you knives, they're like, when they want to see your face, like the reaction that you mm -hmm. have, like this is so great, I want to have you experience it too. Yeah. And it's just crazy how generous the knife community is. It yeah. blows my mind. Like we've met some people, you know, like the owner of Monterey Bay Knives. He- Oh yeah, 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 yeah. On your Instagram, it says that you're a modder for them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we started doing work for him. But he's probably one of the nicest people I've ever met. And like when people are that nice, maybe just because the people that we've known growing up and stuff like that, it's just like, are you really that nice? Like, yeah. You don't want anything back? Like, I don't know. It's just Dude. blue or mine, you know? It's I'm crazy. the same way, man, you know? Yeah. But uh, what I noticed with the knife community is like, man, motherfuckers are really just that nice in this community. Yeah. yeah. It's you know? I mean, actually, how we got that, uh, that power supply. Uh, that YouTuber, uh, OCD for, for EDC. EDC. Just oh, yeah, 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 he, yeah. He just, he just sent it to us for free. Yeah, because, like, I was telling him, like, oh, man, like, we, we were using 9 volts, and I just made some funny joke about it or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, well, like, do you want a power supply? And I was just oh, like, shit. I was just kidding. <laughs> but like, okay. Yeah. You know? And, yeah, and he's super cool. I love him and Holly. Mm -hmm. They're awesome. Yeah, they've, uh, people have uh, suggested to have him on my podcast. And, like, yeah. I reached out to him on Instagram, but I'm not sure how active he is on there or not. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I was like, yo, you know, you want, cause look like lately I have just been going after people. Like I was, yeah. I, I'm not a very boastful dude. Like yeah. I, I don't like to think that this show means anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, I so, um, but people uh, in my comments were like, yo, just fucking ask him. You know, you just ask yeah. whoever. So like I hit up advanced knife bro, Cedric and yeah. Ada, like, you know, I yeah. hit up uh, OCD for EDC, yeah. uh, you guys, I'm just going to keep asking and just keep it, like yeah. backlogging as many, because like the, when I first started this podcast thing, I was like, what do I want this to become? Right. And I was like, right. yo, it'd, it'd be dope if I could be like the Joe Rogan of EDC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I just, I just connect us together and kind of like humanize these figures that people follow on Instagram yeah. or YouTube. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, um, I wanted to have you guys on here because I've seen your posts many times on my feed yeah. and people talk about you. People have suggested you to be on the podcast. Really? Really? So <laughs> yeah, because I was like, man, you know, it'd be dope to have a modder on here. You know, they're like, why don't yeah. you ask, you know, Lindy Lou and oh, whatever. Awesome. I'm like, all right. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. So, you know, um, Fuck, where is I going with this? My ADHD and the alcohol just... Oh, like, <laughs> gone. No, like, where you wanted your channel to go? Like, how you wanted to be, like, the Joe Rogan? Yeah, but why did I say that? <laughs> like, <laughs> um, did you, did you, uh, you guys don't have a YouTube, right? Did you ever think about starting one? Or? All the time. Yeah, so, I All mean, the time. you before, should. Yeah. I mean, before we really got into the Instagram scene... Um, That's the first thing we're considering was starting yeah. a YouTube. Yeah. But we're also kind of shy, so it was just, like... What Let me stop you about? for one second. Like, yeah. just judging from how you guys are on this podcast, you guys would be good at it. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> just look at, look, I'm gonna give you some examples, all right? Like Birdshot is a, their own other thing because oh, yeah. like, look at Neve's Knives, right? Mm -hmm. You got like this cool couple. Them. I love yeah. them. I've had them on this yeah. podcast two, three times already. They're awesome. They're, like, they're such amazing, a good dynamic. Amazing. Awesome. But you guys have that dynamic. You know really? what I mean? Because you guys actually love each other and you guys are into this thing. So you guys have that dynamic already. And it just really takes like, like my girl, right? Very yeah. shy. Okay. Yeah. Abs which is so weird because this girl graduated with an acting degree in college so, and she's into <laughs> musicals. She can sing. She's a That's personal crazy. trainer right now. Right. But yeah. then she's getting into this succulent, like kind of flipping plants thing. Like she imports yeah. them from other countries and then she'll uh -huh. sell them for like twice the price here, which is, absolutely bonker shit to me because when she told me that i was like yo if you could flip this and make money and i could stop working and just do youtube like go <laughs> you know I mean? and she's doing so well right and then um she got this big shipment in from korea and i was like listen you have to do unbox this on camera and yeah she's like you know i don't know like i'm kind of shy and i'm like look just record it and yeah. then do um little clips of it on your stories and do the big video the whole thing on youtube yeah, right? smart. yeah smart. and like even without all that like she's already like i guess the succulent that's what they're called they're like little cacti cactuses i have i have succulents, I'm Dude, a succulent. my girl is like well first of all the name of her instagram is happy go sucky and that's not a sexual thing <laughs> even though it sounds like it um <laughs> it's awesome. fucking like doing happy so well go. and um <laughs> Yeah, but like she's, you know, I was, I forced her. I was like, listen, I will set up the audio for you. I will do everything. Just, um, you know, do the unboxing. And she did it. And then she's like uh, putting the stories up and she's yeah. going to make her YouTube. She did a podcast with her, her like succulent friend, this other girl that like um, has been doing it for a while. And yeah. they talk like hours a day in the morning. I'm like, why don't you guys just record that shit? Yeah. And there are people that are into the hobby like you that are going to want to hear that exact conversation like whatever you guys mm -hmm. talk about with each other about like modding people want to hear that you know what i mean like what 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 kind of prevents you from starting a youtube aside from the shyness like what is it um well i guess i mean a big part of it like the reason we wanted to start a youtube was mm -hmm. I mean, just to get connected with knife people and, you yeah. know, yeah, experience, anybody yeah, and, and knives be able to experience knives from, you know, people sending them in and stuff mm -hmm. like that, you know, that would, that would be cool yeah. to be able to review them and give our opinion on yeah. it, you know, I mean, but like really what it was is initially it was like, well, we need to buy a camera, truthfully. And just use your phone. What kind of phone do you have? Uh, Samsung Galaxy S8. Okay. What do you, uh, what do you have? I'm a piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I started with an S7, my channel. And right now, when I do knife oh, videos, really? I have a Note 10. I don't even have a good camera. This is, this is from a tablet that um, I, I was forced to buy because my other tablet looked like it was going to explode. Really? Like, oh, wow. yeah, like, like, you know, the screen <laughs> where like the screen meets yeah. the metal part. It was like yeah. coming off, you know, like the glue was coming off. Oh, my God. Like, they didn't use enough Loctite, unlike Chinese yeah. knives. <laughs> no. Red like, just coming off, yo. I'm like, damn, but um, <laughs> yeah, I use bare minimum. I don't have a camera. Uh, I edit mm -hmm. everything on my phone. Um, yeah, that's and, crazy. And that's it, man. I, it, it doesn't take a lot to start because the number one thing is you want to have good content and you guys right. already have it. It's like already within, you know what I'm saying? Oh. What, what YouTube is going to do for you and your business, it's going to humanize you guys. So people are going to trust you even more. Right. Like, especially oh, yeah. if you're being it's kind of like watching a sitcom about you two if if somebody right. let's say like let's say like a thousand people follow you for five years i mean i'm sure more will but yeah. those thousand people that have stuck with you like grew with you guys those five years right. they know what happened right, and that's, right, right. that's what i'm experiencing now like when i that's joined crazy. these facebook groups i don't i'm not on facebook a lot they were like dude i love your show and these are like people that i never talked to Right. They don't oh. comment on my videos. They just watch it every week. Like I watch every Friday morning, man. I'm on that <laughs> shit. I'm like, that's what? Crazy. And that, that's, you know, that that's the phenomenon that could happen with anyone that starts. Yeah, it. Like, and it's like they become loyal, and I understand. So like, yeah, do, yeah, you guys should do it, man, for real. You yeah. know, look at look at look at Jared and Kara, man. You know. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean they're yeah. amazing. Like, uh, mm -hmm. and we love them so much. They're, so yeah. they're great people. Uh, you know, great the other people. thing to 
doing that. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. We could do it. I though. mean, we, we could, could make but... Sense. Yeah. We should. We should just start. The hardest thing is just yeah. starting. Yeah. And just, it's just gotta get used to it. I think it's just warming yep. up to the camera. It's you know, and the more, you know, the more we do it. I mean, you don't have to post the very first thing, you know, we can at least yeah. just do it, you know. How did yeah. you guys feel, like, when I invited you both to do this thing? Like, were you guys, so, like, nervous and shit, or, like? He was, so he was extremely <laughs> nervous. I was just like, you know, this is a great, like, this is a great opportunity, you mm-hmm. know, to just, like, to exactly what you were saying, just to, like, mm-hmm. humanize us, have people see I mean, is it weird are. being on here now, like? <laughs> no, no. Not at all. Yeah. No, but it's nervous like it's still nerve-wracking <laughs> a little bit just like i don't know just being put on the spot or whatever you know yeah. but in reality it really wasn't that bad at all yeah i mean <laughs> look like i wanted to introduce you guys to my audience and this is why look my audience has a thing and they always say like how long does it take for ray to tell people to start their own podcast <laughs> no because look right look at look at joe rogan's crew and like the way joe rogan built his empire right he became this the epicenter of like west coast comedy and everyone that he thinks is good he puts them on his podcast and they also get this bump you know what i mean in in, in their uh you know audience or whatever and if you know if, if other knife people had their own podcast and talked about what they're going through that week um, no, no podcast is going to be the same. We all go through different shit, even though we're into the same thing. Right. Hold on. You guys are frozen right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Sorry. You were oh, frozen no. for a second. For a second. You were. Oh, no, no. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. But, um, no, but yeah, kidding. like, like, um, a, a good example of how it's useful is Blade Bander, who is a YouTuber. He just, mm-hmm. he just designed his own knife. Um, mm-hmm. the Orion knife Solaris. And then I had yeah. him on here to help him back his Kickstarter, right? Yeah, yeah we actually watched, we watched that. that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh shit, you did? Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like, I'm like shy and shit, you know? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, you did? What the? <laughs> no, yeah, we watched it. Like, let's say I did something, right? And you guys had your own, whatever, whether it's a live or a podcast that you did every week. Yeah. And I went on your show and was like, hey man, I want to promote this thing. Is it cool? And then I went on there. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Just the system yeah. that works already. Yeah. Like, I, don't, I don't even have to prove it, but like it's so hard to convince people to do it, man. Like my girl wouldn't even do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she did it two no, days but... ago with a girl that t- she talks to on the phone like for two hours, like three hours every day. I'm like, why don't yeah. you guys just do it on Zoom and record and people it? People would love and to watch it though. Right? People, it's yeah. People watch it. I mean, it makes sense. It totally makes sense. Especially yeah. for people that like are doing work that doesn't, yeah. like you can't watch anything, but you can listen to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's, that's what I used to do at work all the time. I would turn on um, like Metal Complex or Joe Rogan while I was working, just put in some headphones and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know. and do you guys great. work right now, or are you uh, on lockdown, or what's going on? Lockdown, and then he cat in the back. Oh, that's oh Loki. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, he's looking for the buddy. He's 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 like he yeah. loves kitten food so much. He grab oh, it. he's eating some. Yeah, he's yo, eating the yo, kitten food. Yo, hold, hold he's on. Not a lot of hold on, I'm gonna get my. <laughs> oh, he's gonna go get his cat. Wait, leave it up there. Yeah. <laughs> just so that he can stay in the photo. <laughs> okay, take that. Oh, I just grabbed him. No, 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 Hey, Loki, what's up? Oh, my God. So <laughs> look fluffy. at this guy. <laughs> and, like, He's you can so do good. anything you want to them. Like, they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could do that. We could yeah. do that with the kitten yeah. for, like, a little while. But <laughs> <laughs> a little butthole. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he's he's probably the friendliest one. Um anyone yeah. could pick him up like a stranger. Yeah. And uh I mean that's probably the best way to introduce a guy to cats is like to have rag dolls that just let you Yeah. You know, it's it's crazy. They're they're, they're huge, right? Yeah. And the way they walk is like a tiger, but you can like pick them up. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> that's, awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. I love cats. I'm a big yeah. cat person. I love dogs too, don't get me wrong. I was yeah. a big dog person, but then I got into cats and then I kind of want like both to just like 
Like my entire TikTok is just me like getting bit by my cat Frankie. <laughs> Cause he like does warning bites, but I pretend like it hurts more than it does. And yeah. like, people love that, yo. That gets thousands of views, man. Cat videos, <laughs> man. That's what started the internet. Cat videos. At least that's what got me on the internet. I love um, that. Let me ask you this. Like, what else are you guys? Oh, we were talking about the quarantine. That's what we were doing. Are you oh, guys yeah. working right now? Are you. Lockdown, and then he's working from home. Yeah, I've okay. Been from home. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, honestly, I, honestly, I wish I'd gotten laid off. Like, that, that unemployment money's crazy. Well, it just ended, but I wish I'd gotten laid off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my girl was uh is is getting uh was getting unemployment money from Equinox. She's a personal trainer. Oh and, yeah. Um, she does virtual Zoom sessions now, like for her clients, which is like yeah. so kind of weird. Like yeah. you gotta do it right. Yeah. Um, my my CBD shop. I, my family owns a CBD shop. Shout out to Ayla CBD. Uh, yeah. it's been open the whole time. Oh but really? Since my lung collapsed when I was twenty three, they were like worried. You know, like yeah. in March, everyone was way more scared of COVID, like in March. Oh, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People were like, yo, you go die. You know what I mean? But like, my, <laughs> after a while, uh, New York City opened up, and uh, but my CBD shop has always been open. Um, we're considered oh, an essential grocer. We have packaged goods. We have supplements. Yeah. We were always open, and I, I work there now. Um, how has that affected uh, you working on modding and things like that? Well... And actually not at all. Initially we thought it was going to mess up business. for yeah. sure. Like we were thinking, Oh man, nobody's going to, you know, people are going to want to save money. Nobody's working right now. Mm -hmm. And on the secondary market, it just started booming. Like for some oh, reason shit. it took off. To, I don't know why. Yeah, I and mean, we started getting more customers than like ever. Right. When it like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, cause before the COVID thing, we were still not really like, not really modding that much for people. But I mean, I mean, we the most, I know, but I mean, most of our Before? business has come and come during. Oh, yeah. COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but, uh, if anything, it's, yeah, it's grown more. But yeah, yeah we thought it was going to affect it, but not, sure. not really. It's like Richie said, you know, that stimulus and unemployment money is like. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what People just dropped <laughs> it all in modding knives, you know? Yeah, man. That's yeah. crazy. Um, yeah. Have you guys ever been to like any knife meetups like blade show or like a convention or anything like that or? no we want to because like yeah, i just really got into to. knives like you got into it maybe a year or so more than i did but i just really started getting into knives maybe this last december january ish really and then well i had my gonzos like mm -hmm. last fall i guess but really like my first real knife what was my first real knife? it was a tucson the first and then after that it just i escalated quickly it was like zero yeah. to 100 really fast what are your favorites right now? Like, what do you guys like like to have on you? Like recently, like I mean, what are yeah, your favorite, favorite things to carry um, right now? So let me see here. <laughs> <laughs> box. Yeah, I've got a bunch of knives on my table right now too. I know we weren't. I don't know how we weren't prepared for this, but. No, it's all I mean, look <laughs> like my uh, slogan for the podcast is like we talk about knives sometimes. That's what yeah. it is. You know what yeah, I mean? you know, cats and yeah. Cats. yeah. Like sometimes <laughs> we talk about it. So I just got this one and uh, I can't remember what uh which number it is. Yeah. But oh it's, it's uh it's titanium lock side and then carbon fiber show side. It's that yeah. one that Jared just the, got. I can't uh, remember flipper. what it's Oh, oh snap that's dope yo it's, yeah. it's so thin it is so thin behind wow. the edge it is crazy you yeah, they're the so thing. good man but uh this is probably my favorite right now in terms of tucson anyway okay. yeah and then um, my favorite right now right now i mean i got this right before my birthday and this has been my like baby grail knife for so long mm. the maximum para three. Oh like, shit. i wanted okay. this for cool. so long and I just like two hundred dollars for a pair of three. Initially, I was just like, mm, but I really wanted that gray G ten and Max. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I I never had a para two or a three, and it's funny. Mm -hmm. Like the way I got to handle any of that is like people just sent yeah. them in. Like yeah. I I was I was like. A P shout out to Pittsburgh EDC on Instagram. I hit him yeah. up and I was like, dude, you have like sick knives, and he was like, yo, you want me to send you some? I'm like, what? Yeah, I just wanted to say you have <laughs> like, I got a lot of spider codes, and I was like, I've never tried a pair of three. So he, like, sent me, like, two of them. <laughs> like, really? He sent That's me crazy. these two, uh, a spider code mantra, 
right? Oh, <laughs> Mantra what? 2. You, and yeah. then he sent me uh, like a pry bar from like Casey Lynch, which is like. Oh, cool. really? Yeah. Oh, I was like, I was like, thanks, dude. And he was like, yeah, I'm the president of this knife club in, in Pittsburgh. <laughs> like, oh, shit, okay, cool, okay. bro. <laughs> I was like, thank you, your highness. No, I'm kidding. No. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but it's like, first... yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, when that... I first got into knives, I didn't like spider toe knives at all. I thought they were so ugly. Yeah. And then I don't know if it was like the brainwashing from Instagram or what, mm -hmm. but then like Metal Complex was just like, maximum pair of three, maximum pair of three all the time. <laughs> and then I just was like, I need that in my life. Yeah. So, yeah, spider toes, like, uh, I thought they looked like kind of like ducks. Yeah, yeah, like birds. They yeah. totally yeah. look like birds. I, I've made so many comparisons to like yeah. like in, in reviews and podcasts where I, I always have this like meme where it's fucking the, the dog from Duck Hunt, like the Nintendo game. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, you no. guys are too young. No, I don't. Oh my no. god. I'm, the I'm so old now. I never <laughs> felt more like a 40 year old until right now. No. <laughs> oh my god. You're not 40. I'm 39. I'm going to be 40 in January. What? Yeah. Dude, you look like you're, you're in your 21? 20s. 21? <laughs> I thought you were like 22, 23 maybe. Thank you very much. <laughs> like my mom, you know, uh, sacrificed the pig in the river to the... Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna splice the clip in this so people know what I'm talking about. I feel so bad right now. Yeah. But um. So... <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny so what do you guys think of the podcast so far man you guys had fun it seems like you guys yeah, had fun. yeah. oh my god this is so awesome dude you, you guys you guys i have faith in you guys man i you know what's crazy is neve's knives i was the first person to comment on one of their videos it was me really? and that's awesome. i i told them right away before they blew up their their, their channel is bigger than mine now before they yeah. blew up i was like hey listen yeah. You guys have a thing. You guys have yeah. chemistry. Just keep going and look look what happened. To them. Yeah, no, they're gonna yeah. they're gonna blow They're up. gonna be yeah. they're so comfortable in their own skin now. They're doing lives, yeah. they're interaction with people. You guys have that same thing. You know what no, I'm saying? Really. Except you guys <laughs> mod shit. So it's like yeah. You can get different. really wild, yo. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's you so, have a different thing. It would be good. Yeah, man. Should. There's no other couple doing thing? it on knife YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's exactly. We're like teetering. I've been wanting, yeah. I've been pushing it and pushing it low key. And yeah. he was kind of, you know, busy with work and doing things like that. Yeah. I think it's a really good idea. It is a good idea. Metal yeah. Complex we made a good did. point uh, where, you know, he's got like kids, he's married, and um, yeah. he said like having a structure. Uh, yeah. Like, for example, you block out like seven to eight is when I'm going to work on this. Uh, for yeah. me, like, I have to do all my videos uh, in the morning. Like, any yeah. review or unboxing is done in the morning. Yeah. So I make sure, like, all right, like, 8.30 to 9. Like, 8.30 yeah. to 9.30 is when I'm going to do the videos. And I only podcast at night, man, you know? Yeah, exactly. No, that's what, that's what we should do. We could figure it out. It's not a big deal. It's just a matter of just doing it, truthfully, yep. you know? We should totally do it. Um, Let me ask you this. Uh. Oh, fuck, I was going to ask you something, but I just drank whiskey right now and I forgot. <laughs> um, <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> yeah. Like, so what do you guys like to do aside from nice stuff? Like, what are your hobbies? You know, are you into like gaming? Are you into movies? Do you watch shows or anything like that? Shows, but honestly, we like live, breathe, eat, sleep knives. Yeah. Truth, yeah. Like, yeah. Honestly, God. Really? Like, our, we have like <laughs> knife. It, I mean, like you come into our room or our house or anything yeah. and there will be YouTube videos on on the TV. Yeah. It's either like not niche, but it's usually knees or like the knife junkie or anything yeah. like that. We'll have it playing in the background or like in our shop in the garage. We just put a TV in there and like while we're modding shit, we're like have YouTube videos on of knife stuff playing in the background. Wow. It's like, it's bad. It's probably yeah. why. No, that's good. So good. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Um, one thing for me, because like I, I am forever going to be in this like EDC thing. This is going to yeah. be my thing forever. It doesn't matter. Um, uh, I wake up and I'm already thinking like, how am I going to get, what am I going to do for the channel this week? Who yeah. am I, which guest am I going to ask to be on? Right. So I know yeah. I'm in it for the long haul because I'm not yeah. making no money, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah exactly. you know, like that's going to come later and I'm not even like working towards that. I just yeah. like doing this. You but, just like um, doing it. Yeah. yeah, but I, I noticed that I'm into so many things, right? Like, yeah. I watch, I probably watch, like, 20 movies a week. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. oh wow that's crazy yeah because like i work in a cbd shop and sometimes there's downtime you know there's not yeah. like just an influx of customers i mean if there was an influx of customers all the time i'd be like making it rain to benzes <laughs> like i go to blade show yeah. no. yeah. <laughs> people are like oh shit <laughs> but um no, like uh uh and uh the reason why i ask is like you know what you guys are into but you guys are into the knife stuff I've recently like started reviewing movies. <laughs> like it's so weird. Really? Yeah, awesome. there's this thing, right? It's called Letterboxed, um, without the E. It's like Letterboxd, just X. Oh, I saw. Yeah, I, I posted I saw- it on my on my Instagram, and yeah, basically, like, um, basically, like, if you search for a movie, it's on mm-hmm. there, and it'll also tell you like where you could stream it legally, right? Oh, really? So whatever. I mean, I watch a lot of horror and stuff like that. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Like I so watched four good. movies today, dude. Like, I mean, really? I was like, you know what? I got to do something with this. So I, what I'm thinking about doing is like having a Patreon, right? Yeah. And then people that are on there could like do a Netflix watch party with me. And you, it, you could like chat and shit. So oh, like, yeah, fun. I'm thinking I'm going to do that, you know? Yeah, that's yeah. super fun. Interactive while watching. Oh, that's hilarious. That's so yeah. Fun. So yeah. like uh, you guys just are fully like knife YouTube. Well, I mean, pretty kind much. Of I mean, you guys watch big. like at all? If you well, okay, watch a show. Well, oh yeah, yeah, we watch Netflix stuff like that. And then yeah, like, like like what? Oh, like what? So I don't know. I just finished Outlander. We liked Ozark a lot. Uh, Outlander. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. shit! There's a well, lot. Of, there's a lot well, of nookie in that show. Yeah, <laughs> there's as long a lot. As it has titty, yeah. yeah, like I I remember like um I was staying with my mom for a little while. This is when I was still doing music. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy when your son is thirty years old and he's like, "Yo, I'm gonna move back in. I'm gonna just be a DJ now." <laughs> yeah. He was like, "This is how I know my mom is cool." She was like, "Okay," <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I would go upstairs and I hear like, I hear the TV and there's like fucking on it, and I'm like, yeah. I mean, I'm, "I'm watching Outlander." Yeah, there's some there's some but, cheesy ass so like in first, that show. Yeah, we okay, so but we were good. really gonna watch it at first. I mean Metal yeah. Complex, like I was Yeah, like, I know he talked about it on my podcast. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I just finished the show, you know, I just finished Ozark, I needed a show to watch. He was like Outlander, watch it. And he was I was like, Oh, what is it about? He's like, It's a romance, you know, you know like a like, time like, travel. Yeah, yeah. We, tried, yeah. we tried watching the first episode, ended up turning it off, and then we came back to it. And yeah. then after the first episode, the first season was, is yeah. insane. Yeah, the after first season the first is season is like, eh. yeah, oh shit, and, but it gets so gnarly. Like, yeah. I mean, there's yeah, it's, it's good, but it's like a big later show. seasons were like, it's got yeah, it's, it's really a huge good. show. Do you yeah. watch like this is something I'm always curious with nice yeah. people, right? Is like, do you watch any foreign shit like at all? No. No. <laughs> no, like at all. Like, like y- there's no room for it, right? Well, I mean, like, I used to. Okay, it sounds weird. But I used to watch anime when I was younger, and then as I yeah. got older, I stopped watching. Well, I'm not. Best, like, a- anime is one thing. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. You're, yeah. you're 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 freezing up on me. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. It's probably our internet. We have terrible internet service. Yeah, but um. So you were talking so, about like, anime. You, it, could, I mean, you could watch anime when you were younger. Yeah, and then that's that's about it. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, no, like like yeah. um because I just watched this crazy ass movie like recently. Yeah. It's yeah, a yeah, Korean yeah. flick, right? And you yeah, know yeah. you know Parasite won the Oscar for best movie this year. It's a Korean movie. Oh, yeah. oh really? Yeah. Oh, a really? Korean movie won best best movie this year. You um it. it's good. it's fucking fire. But that's not what I'm talking about. There's this movie called The Villainous, right? And it's yeah. like, imagine the movie Kill Bill. Yeah. Right? And, uh, and like, yeah. really dope drama, too, like, woven in. And then yeah. they would do, like, the fight scenes. Like, it would, they would be talking, and then they would do the fight scenes. It would become first person. And you just see dudes getting stabbed Whoa. in the neck. And it's, oh, like, that's wild, crazy. bro. I just saw that, yeah, like, two days ago with my girl. And I was, like, okay, you know. That, this is why I asked, because a lot of the night people, like, like Jared and Kara were, like, I don't fucking read subtitles, man. Like, you know? yeah. <laughs> well, like, I saw it. Yeah, okay. Well, just reverting back to my trials. Yeah. Like, watching anime. I hated, like, English, like, dub. Like, when they would just it was be, like, so bad. English, English dub is so bad, though. It's awful. It's yeah. so bad. I'd rather yeah. read subtitles all day. I like subtitles. Preferably. Yeah. Because it just makes more me. sense. It just works. With the, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah same with me like uh, you know what's crazy is like when i was a kid like watching anime was like yeah. some nerd shit 
Yeah. But now being a nerd is cool. And like yeah. adding <laughs> on Cartoon Network. And that I'm was like, crazy. Yeah, and I'm like, you weebs don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're not being <laughs> right now. Imagine me watching Dragon Ball and shit when I was a kid. People Dragon like, Ball Z the-? was my shit when I was yeah, a kid. Yeah, you I can never, ask him. never watched yeah, it. Yeah, I love Dragon Ball <laughs> No, like, it was I, like, yeah, what, go ahead. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. Go ahead. Oh, it's okay. Well, fine, I'll go ahead. <laughs> so, oh, no, you froze. Oh, no, no. okay. Yeah. So, um... I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> it was about Dragon um, Ball. It was about Dragon Ball. You, you, Dragon oh, Ball. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, if we're talking about Dragon Ball Z, that is yeah. pro- that was the shit. That was like my childhood in a nutshell was probably Dragon yeah. Ball Z and Power Rangers. Oh, and yeah, yeah. But um, like my little sister, she's like 19 now, and like she's like she watches anime, and all of her friends watch anime. I was like, I wish yeah. I had friends that watched anime when I was a kid. Like when I was a kid, nobody really watched it. You yeah, know, it was weird. If you're watching anime, you're a fucking weirdo. <laughs> so, yeah, so I like, kept it, like, under wraps, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's crazy that now, right, like, it's like yeah. being a nerd is the cool shit. Like, yeah, no, you know, totally. like, like Comic-Con has 120,000 people in it easily. Oh, yeah, and ev- easy. And then you go there and you think, like, you're going to see a bunch of nerds and it's all these, like, hot people wearing costumes. Like, you're like, oh, shit. Like- <laughs> Wild, bro. And, like, Chris Evans is there. Thor is there. Yeah. And, and Avengers are hanging out, you know. It's, it's, yeah. it's a whole thing. Like, nerd, cur- nerd culture and uh, knife culture do mix. Like, if you know JT's Knife Life, he loves Star Wars oh, yeah. and shit like that. Yeah. Like, I- I'm trying to uh-huh. find – I'm actually trying to find, like, a comic book dude to bring on here. If you exist oh, and you're awesome. watching the show, you know, hit yeah. me up. We'll get you on here. Dude, we've For done sure. over an hour. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That went so fast. That's awesome. That's it so goes fun. quick, man. I'm telling you. Um, is yeah. there anything that you guys want to promote? Um, you know, tell people where to find you and how they can contact you for mod work. Yeah, for sure. Um, you can find it or you can find me on Instagram. Uh, it's at Lindy Lou. It has two underscores. And then... Yeah, for me, uh, RB6256 uh, on Instagram. And then on Reddit, it's uh, Richie6256. And then on Reddit for me, it's Lylor23. Yeah, that's it. And How then, is Reddit, man? Yeah. Like, do you guys do Reddit, emails big, too? There's a big community of nine people. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. actually, like, when we buy knives... Like, uh, most of, like, almost all the knives we buy, besides two sons, are yeah. all off Reddit. All on Check out Reddit. Knife Swap. It's Reddit. It's a secondary market. And people post, like, 50-plus knives a day. Yeah, it's, oh, it's yeah. crazy. There's and a huge market. Huge market. I mean, you, it's crazy. And there's, you know, different forums of, like, you know, we post on Knife Club of our work and stuff like that. There's also that one... Um, that one thing that he just opened up for services. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 the user services thread. Yeah, yeah, so you can post if you do mod work or user services. So, like, you post what, you're, what you can do on there, and then people will reach out through that, too. I mean, you oh, should check sure. it out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. One, more, one more thing I want to show yeah, you. Yeah, go here. for it, bro. Dude, <laughs> yeah. Yo, it, Anyways, look, listen, you can show me whatever you guys want. You guys oh, want to show me stuff? Now is the time. Oh, I guess I won't show it. Yeah, show this. Okay, so let me you see, see what see. he just started. But, um. So, yeah, I just made my first knife, actually. Oh, shit. Dope, dude. You just heat so, treated and everything. Wow. Yeah, that's, it's, it's just a temporary handle. Um, yeah. And I'm probably going to do wood or maybe my carta on it. Nice um, work, man. Yeah. But, you just yeah. waiting for the epoxy? Yeah, he just finished that yesterday. Came dude, out really good. Dude, that's awesome. And you just, like, did that like in your shop? Yeah, yeah. In the yeah. yeah. just bought oh, some snap. Head yeah. 80, um, ground it out with my angle grinder, shaped it with a belt sander, and then uh, ground the bevels on my belt sander and heat treated it. Bought a little toaster oven from Walmart it's and uh, made a little mini forge. Bricks um, <laughs> and a yeah. torch, yeah. <laughs> you should see the coolest setup. That's cr- see, like you know that exact thing that you're describing yeah. right now is a good little video for a YouTube. Yeah, like, definitely. Oh, this is how I made this knife, and you just show little bits. You know, if you guys ever like want advice on like how to go about it, low tech, and not like spend a lot of money, yeah, just hit me up, man. Like I'll tell, yeah, I I do every, sure. I do everything, all the editing, on my yeah. phone, everything, yeah. like all That's the crazy. reviews, everything yeah. is on my phone. I edit. I don't have a fancy computer. 
I don't have anything. I just use my phone and I can tell oh. you the apps that I use to do. Yeah, it. yeah, definitely. I'll message you. I want to know. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah both of you guys can message yeah. me. Like, yeah. I, 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 you know, what's crazy is like, I wanted both of you to be on because I, I also didn't want to come off as like some creepy ass dude to like, just, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm yeah. like, no, that's why I was so happy. I was like, oh, this is her boyfriend. I'm going to have both of them on and it'll be dope. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you, anytime you guys uh, want to promote anything, if you're doing yeah. something special, like your knife, for example, mm-hmm. yeah. if that becomes like a bigger thing, you can come back on the show. We can talk about it. Yeah. Um, it was really great having you guys on. You guys are natural. Thank you. Thank you, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like throw that, uh, sh- that, that China stuff. Like you guys will get over that once you keep doing the YouTube. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. So, thanks for being on, guys. It was yeah, it was thank really you so much. So, this was so fun. Yeah, you're just so easy to talk to. You make it so easy. It's awesome. Thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, this is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCCP saying peace. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.